Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and the cheapest coins anywhere, make sure you guys check out MMOEXP.com and use code ZERK for 5% off your order. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zark Smash today with another Madden Ultimate Team video and today I'm going to be going over my Team of the Week, Week 13 predictions and of course uh, this video is coming out a little bit later in the afternoon, you know I would have liked to have it out maybe around, I don't know, 3ish or so but had some other things to do. Still wanted to get this video out to you guys though before they did go ahead and reveal the Team of the Week cards. That will be later tonight around 7, 7.30ish, whatever. So I'll have a video probably around 8. Now I do want to give a shout out to Joe Bent for being a part of the Nota Gang. If you guys have a chance to shout out in the next video, drop a like in the video. Make sure you guys are sub to the channel, turn notification bell on, and comment down below Nota Gang. And if you guys want to be entered for these Zark Miss giveaways, I am giving away three Xbox Series S's and one PlayStation 5. All you guys got to do, drop a like in the video. Make sure you guys are sub to the channel and comment down below the secret word on this video and every video because on December 31st I'm gonna go through and select four random videos that I posted and select four random winners so comment down below TOTW just TOTW and leave what to contact you up for Twitter or Instagram and if you don't have those email works as well and also tonight is Monday so we have Monday Night Football if you guys want to check out Underdog Fantasy you can use code Zerk to match first deposit up to $100 and I will be tweeting out later tonight my personal picks for Monday Night Football, we have the Patriots versus the Bills. I feel like there's some really interesting lines tonight that I kind of like, so check out Twitter. I'll have my lines up. So with that, let's get into this Team of the Week. And of course, remember guys, Monday Night Football, you know, tonight, like I said, we have the Bills versus Patriots. Uh, if somebody goes off, yeah, they could end up being put into Team of the Week, but I have to do this before Monday Night Football because, you know, they reveal the players, so they reveal the heroes anyway. So let's get into it here. Starting off, you guys have been looking at him here for a little bit. Justin Jefferson, absolutely he is going to be in my predictions for this week. Now, honestly, in terms of like what card do I think Justin Jefferson is going to get, I'm not quite sure. And I know this may be a shock here, but do not be surprised if we don't get Justin Jefferson. Because at this point, he's had so many good weeks and hasn't gotten a team of the week that I almost feel like he's planned. Like they have a limited plan for him or they have a zero chill plan for him. Like something is coming with Justin Jefferson. If he doesn't get a team of the week this week, no doubt in my mind, he has something big planned coming very, very soon here. Uh, but if I had to guess, I don't think he's gonna be the hero just because I feel like they really are saving him for something. I think he might be like the top set piece. And as for the middle set piece, I'm gonna go with Dallas Goddard. He had 105 yards and two TDs, and he only has this 84 overall. So I think giving him that little middle piece, better than a plus one, and I think it'll be a decent card. It's really not gonna be anything too, too crazy, but I think it's gonna be a decent card. As for the final player in my offensive set, I'm going with Deontay Johnson. If you think there's a big player I'm missing, just just wait a minute for that one. Uh, but Deontay Johnson here, also 105 yards, two TDs. Same thing as Dallas Goddard. Uh, he had an incredible, incredible game. So I do think he's going to end up getting a plus one more than likely here because he is already up to an 89 overall powered up so being up to a 90 overall with that plus one should put him at 92 speed which means for that Steelers theme team is gonna be a lot better I think it's catching traffic and everything you know I kind of wish that was higher also after the catch ability and everything like that but Deontay Johnson he's gonna have some big cards coming up he is absolutely falling out I, I say it every week Deontay Johnson is just a target freak I mean he gets 13 14 targets a game it is insane how many times he's getting open so Deontay Johnson yeah I think he gets plus one now on to the defensive set starting off here I'm going with Kamu Gruger Hill hopefully I said his name correctly he had 20 tackles and a sack so I know they lost and I know they lost bad but 20 tackles I think is enough to get him some sort of card and a sack and as for my second player here in the set I'm going with Chris Wormley uh, he only has a 70 overall and he had two and a half sacks the final player in my set is going to be TJ Watt this man is on an absolutely crazy pace right now he had three and a half sacks and a forced fumble absolutely crazy crazy game uh, and currently he actually already has a team league plus one so he is up to a 90 overall currently I think he actually has uh, two team league plus ones I think he's going to get a third here because unfortunately now right he's at a 90 overall could he actually end up being the hero 
Uh, maybe. If they want to go back to a defensive player, but I feel like we've just gotten so many outside linebackers recently, I don't think that they want to do that. So, TJ, I think, unfortunately, so is going to get another Team League Plus 1 and just be up to a 91 overall. But that is going to put his finesse move down at 93 and get his speed up a little bit higher. But I feel like with someone like TJ, they kind of are just waiting to give him a big card because... He is potentially going to win Defensive Player of the Year. At this point, he could potentially win that. If he has a Team of the Year card coming, a Zero Chill card coming, he's probably got a pretty big card already planned. And as for the Team of the Week hero, I am going to go with George Kittle. Now, I know they lost the game, right? And I don't care because it's EA's logic and they have no logic when it comes to picking the heroes, which almost makes me think maybe they will go with TJ Watt actually as a team league hero because yes, they did win and TJ had three and a half sacks, but you know what? I'm going to go with George Kittle. He had a crazy game, 181 yards and two TDs. And he's got a 91 overall card, obviously, that has not gotten any upgrades since the beginning of the year because this is the season one master. And now with us heading towards season two, I feel like they could do this, right? Because season two actually starts on Wednesday. So it wouldn't be too off of them to just give us a 94 overall Team League Kittle on Tuesday. I think it could happen. And I think a nice little Kittle upgrade could definitely be used. You know, the 91 overall 85 speed now is definitely way behind. He's still one of the best run blocking tight ends in the game at 83 run block, 83 impact block. But get that up even higher. And I think that Kittle, once again, is going to be a very sought after tight end. And now on to the limited for Team of the Week. Now, keep in mind, guys, remember, Team of the Week LTDs are not for this week, right? Or this year anyways. It's for a previous performance from years past. So I'm going all the way back to 2014. DeAndre Hopkins had 238 yards and two touchdowns in week 13 of 2014. So that is who I'm going to pick for my limited. And I also think it makes sense because D-Hop doesn't have a single upgrade currently in the game. And usually with a big player like Justin Jefferson, DeAndre Hopkins, whatever, they maybe had content kind of planned out in advance for when they were going to get some upgrades. So like if he had a good team league, maybe he would have just got like a plus one, whatever. But I feel like maybe they've had this one kind of locked in to get him this limited here. Now, as for my flashback offensive and defensive players, offensively, I am going with 2013 Eric Decker. 174 yards, four touchdowns. Insane game. So I'm definitely going with Eric Decker there, and I think a Decker card will be pretty good. You know, they've kind of juiced up cards a lot on speed. So if they actually get him pretty good speed, he usually was like really good with run blocking and everything, and they have a pretty good card. And my second player, my defensive player, is Dre Bly. In 2003, he had two interceptions and three passes defended with one forced fumble. So those are my team of the week, week 13 predictions. You guys, let me know down below what you think about it. Who do you think is going to get the hero? Do you think it is going to be TJ Watt because he only has, you know, up to a 90 overall on his power up and they did win the game so maybe that helps his chance a little bit more or do you think he just says whatever let's do Kittle you know because Kittle only has the 91 overall season master I think it could really be between those two now don't be shocked though if they switch it up and go with somebody else because that's just EA but hopefully you guys did enjoy the video see you guys next time